Hello, it's Sean. Today I'm going to be showing off some models that I just got uh, from Battle of Valor Games. They did a Kickstarter uh, a little while ago uh, to expand their line of fantasy models. Uh, they're 15 millimeter fantasy. Uh, they have quite a quite a selection of different races, and they were adding a few. Uh, I backed it at a reasonably high level, and I got my order today. Um, so. I've already opened the box, but I haven't really dug through the models, so this box has got about eight pounds of metal. Uh, so as you can see, there's quite a variety in here. I chose uh, lots of different units from different factions just because I wanted to uh, uh, just have a wide variety uh, for my collection. So I don't know if we'll go through all of these, but I'm going to go through uh, and look at a fair number of them and kind of show them off a little bit so all right so it looks like we've got some elven spearmen here with shields they're just a plain shield but that's okay put some paint a little uh, symbol on that and that'll look nice uh, fairly nicely detailed Not a lot of flash, there's a little bit here that's got to be trimmed up, but that's easy enough to do. So that's some Elven Spearmen. Uh, let's see. These are, I think these are the Decian uh, giants, skeletal giants, something like that. Uh, it's a cy cyclops, which is kind of cool. It's just basically a giant skeleton. Uh, we've got three different poses, and it looks like one of them actually is broken here. Looks like he lost an arm, or hand, I guess. That should be easy enough to reattach. Those will be nice additions to my Decian army, or undead, as we like to call it. So he has a variety of infantry models, cavalry models, uh, heroes, lots of different stuff. Here's some Dwarian crossbowmen. And looks like they have shields to get slung on their backs. Just a wooden shield. So one of the cool things about these is in this pack, I think there's 16 guys here. Normally there's quite a few different poses. They're not necessarily hugely different, but like these two guys, they have different helmets. It's a third helmet. And just how they're holding the stuff is a little bit different too. So it's cool that there's not, you know, three poses and everybody's the same. There's quite a variety going on in some of these, uh, which is nice when you're painting up for use in a rank and file game that you get quite a few different options. So, but those are some crossbowmen. These are, I think they're Orkian Berserkers or Brutes, something like that. Just big guys. Uh, kind of giants. Got clubs, some got axes. I like these models. I will probably use some of these, uh, or one of these, as a giant for... Uh, some six millimeter projects just because they're these are good size I think they'll make a, a pretty neat giant for that uh, six millimeter project that I've been working on there we go we get some werewolves different poses again pretty cool these got different heads so I gotta put those on But 
but adds variety having the different head options uh, lets me mix and match a little bit here because I don't think there's quite as many poses with these I think it's three or four poses on these guys uh, maybe I'm wrong maybe there's more than that but those will be again some nice uh, additions to my undead army the Decian army So these are, I think these are the goblins, or whatever, goblins. Uh, goblins with hand axes. Again, got some flash to clean up, but nothing too terribly uh, difficult. And they have little, little square shields that will get attached to them as well. So that's a fun little group of guys that'll get painted up. I think this is a character pack. Take a look at that. I really like their character packs. They've got uh, got these for different races and they really uh, just have a nice variety of uh, models in them. So, got that guy. This guy with some heavy armor, a cape, and a big double-handed sword. It's like a an undead wizard or necromancer. Pretty neat. This guy looks like a monk from Pathfinder. With that curved weapon. I don't remember what that's called. Anyway, looks awesome. Another kind of wizard guy. Undead. This is clearly a wizard. So, a nice variety of models. Kind of a Grim Reaper here. Here's some undead cavalry. So nice skeletal horse. The body is a second piece that you just gotta attach. Let me see if I can find one here. So these guys have spears. So clip that off. There's a little hole in the bottom of them. You might have to drill that a little bit. Uh, but he's got a spear. They're bendy, so you can adjust how they're holding that spear to point down or hold it closer to a side or whatever you need to do. I've, I've painted up some of the Deathians in the past, uh, foot troops, and they're uh, pretty easy to paint. Um, a little bit of variety in shields, which is kind of nice. This one's got not really square, but kind of a trapezoid. And this one's got a rounded shield, so... Adds a little bit of variety to the units, uh, which is pretty cool for a force like an undead army. Other armies, they're pretty consistent. Uh, it just kind of depends on which army you're working on. And, uh, they sell packs of shields too if you want to change them. Uh, they have different ones that have uh, symbols on them already so that you can uh, give everybody kind of the same thing. Uh, these are some... Uh, Orkian wolf riders. That's kind of a neat looking wolf. Got character to his, to him. Uh, and same thing with the uh, uh, the undead cavalry. You got a hole in the bottom, and they just sit on here. You do got to clean these up a little bit because they don't. They get a little dirty in the mold process, but that works pretty well. Uh, so you can kind of see him. Nice detail. Got a characterful face. And uh, same as the others, you know, they've got quite a variety of sculpts in here. So this guy's got a helmet on. This guy has a different kind of helmet on. Let's see, you the same? 
Yeah, those two are the same. But a couple different sculpts. So, pretty cool. I like those models. Big beefy wolves with some orcs riding them. And again, the square shield for those. So many in here. It's kind of crazy. I think these are Orkian double handed axemen. And then it's got a banner, or standard, which I'll show you that. So I think each pack comes with a guy, a champion, a musician, and a uh, banner bearer. So those are nice, depending on the rules you use on how important those are, but they're cool to have. Just uh, different double axe hand or double handed axe guys. I like that one, he looks pretty cool. You can see holding them in different ways. And just get these on the screen here. So there's. Three. There's another one. Four. And see, these two are pretty similar. But this one's got a helmet on, and this one doesn't. Their clothing's a little bit different. This guy's. Sleeves are a little bit different. So it's cool that, you know, they take the basic, like, you know, the body is the same, that fur looks pretty similar. Different helmet, different sleeves, different axe head. Actually, the axe head looks the same. But just a little bit of detail uh, changes how they look, and so they'll look different when they're painted up and uh, on your table. So if these are Scalians, they're uh, lizard men. These guys are bowmen. So, <laughs> got a nice tail on him. Pretty cool. Pretty cool model, I think. It's got a nice bow. Looks like he's drawn it. Same thing, a little bit different model. So, I think these will paint up quick. I'm a big fan of the simple paint jobs, especially given the pile of models that I've got here to get done. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to start with. Uh, I've painted some up, uh, some of the Phrygian, which is kind of a Viking uh, group. I painted them up as, uh, for small scale, Kings of War kind of multi-base them, but I, I think I want to paint some of these up for uh, games like uh, Song of Blade and Heroes, uh, so they'll be more individually based. Here's some more dwarves, dwarians. These guys are just uh, a hammer and shield, so got just a blank shield, and guys with a hammer. Same thing, got different poses. A little bit different helmets on different guys. So, nice variety. I'm really impressed with the variety of these, to be honest. The, so many of the models that I've got seen, and I haven't seen a ton of these, but you'll get a pack of 40 models, and they'll be maybe three poses if you're lucky. Uh, having this wide variety is, is very cool. It's the little details that make uh, make it just look nice. So these are some Scalian swordsmen. So they've got a nice little uh, textured shield. Looks like they skinned one of their 
beasts for that to make that shield. And then just got a sword. I think it's funny these guys are wearing loincloths. I don't know why. Just, I mean, I get it, but they're lizard men. Anyway, cool models there too. These are Oak Orkian bowmen, so like that guy is drawing an arrow. This guy is got one notch, is ready to fire it, or maybe he just fired it. So nice variety of sculpts here. Here we go. These are the scout, the human, like ranger guys. This bow is a little bit bent up there, but it's easy enough to fix. I like the cloaks on these guys, so they uh, are pretty cool looking. This guys got a spear. Like here's the champion for this unit. He's got a sword out. So these aren't all bowmen. These have got swords and spears and bowmen in this group. So, but I do like these models. They're very cool. That's probably one of my favorite packs. We'll see when I paint them up how well I like them. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we go. These are gargoyles, so another nice addition for my undead army. Let's see. So these guys will be kind of flying. They're, they don't have a base, so I'll have to pin them somehow and mount them so they're flying. Got a cool little tail, some horns. Pretty cool looking model, I think. And then the wings are two pieces, which that might be more annoying than nice, but gives you some variety or different options for mounting those. That'll be good, I guess. So, got a, a, quite a few of those, so those will be fun to put together and paint. These guys are kind of little rat bowmen. Got a nice tail going on. Pretty cool models. Here are some uh, Vermian Axemen. So these guys have got an axe. Or maybe just hand weapons. This guy's got a little sword. And they have a hole uh, there to stick the shield in. So. So this, I don't know exactly how this goes together. It's not a catapult, I guess. It's a bolt thrower. Something like that. Got some wheels stick underneath it. A couple of crewmen as well. And some extra, extra bolts. That's kind of neat. So, they have, like I said, a, a little bit of everything. They have large beasts uh, with uh, the Frigians. They have mammoths with a Hoda. Uh, the orcs, they have, I think, a Triceratops or something. Uh, so they have regular-sized folks. You saw some of the larger uh, 
brute size. And they have uh, some flying creatures. They have artillery. Uh, or, so they just really have a nice variety of uh, options. This is nowhere near all that they have. They have lots and lots. And each race has multiple armaments. So, uh, so the Phrygians, they've got a spearman. They've got a hand axe. They've got a swordsman. They have a double-handed axe. They've got mounted... Uh, troops I think they have mounted with a spear mounted with a sword uh, some of them have heavy armor on the mounted troops versus light armor uh, they have uh, animals this is a pack of uh, uh, dogs so each not each race but several of the races have uh, some kind of dog or hunting wolf kind of thing um, they have character packs uh, general models uh, so it's a nice variety of, of stuff if you want different ideas uh, check them out. I'll put the uh, uh, their website in the notes below. Uh, again, it's Battle Valor Games. Uh, and they have a nice website. They run sales um, periodically that you can get some discounts to. So if you uh, are interested, go check out their website and see what they have to offer. If you like this video, uh, you can give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this and the other projects that I work on, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, you can put it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.